Hey, new merch, Anti-Social Coder Club, you know. If you like it, go support the channel. I know I post like once per month. I'm trying my best. No, I'm not. And on that note, this is gonna be the worst, the worst desk setup. It's gonna be the most overpriced, horrible desk setup video you have ever seen. Welcome to my channel. Everything is going downhill. Speaking of downhill. Oh God. You guys know how a floor works, right? Yes, this is part of my desk setup video. You guys know how a floor works. Let's tell you a couple things that aren't supposed to happen in a floor. Let me guide you the right way. Should not happen. I noticed that my workstation was crooked. As soon as I sat down to do work the first time, I was like, am I leaning? Sure enough, my overpriced apartment is leaning to the left. And when I tell you this is a bad, bad desk setup, you're gonna understand. But it's functional, besides the fact that I lean left every time I wanna code, but hey! Just give you a bigger picture. I know you expect lo-fi beats and B-roll from this desk setup. Expect none of those. Honestly, I'll be surprised if I do any of those. Yeah. <laughs> this is my desk setup. Right now, I want you to guess how much my equipment is worth. Adding this, by the way. It's the first guess. I guess we'll start off with the chair. Um, horrendous chair, but it got me through a coding boot camp. I don't remember the name because Ikea has ridiculous names. We're also gonna play a little game called how many of these things are actually Larry's and not just something you took from their friends or parents for a long period of time and never gave it back. I've always wanted a dual monitor setup. So this is a 4K monitor and this is a, anything that's below 4K, honestly. <sighs> so the main part of the setup is the monitors, right? This, I have a Dell and a Samsung monitor. When I used to actually make videos, I bought a 4K monitor because I had a 4K camera and I was like, I don't know, makes sense. At the time, this was a really good investment. I don't think you need a 4K monitor to code, but obviously depends what you're doing. I just adjusted a 4K and anything under that is just disgusting to me. I don't know why anyone uses anything below 4K, but hey, this isn't my monitor. I just took it from where? Uh, that's that's your decision to make. Another thing that I took, Bose headphones, really, really great for just tuning out my whining dog begging me to walk him. But Bose, honestly, if you want to look, if you're looking for something that's noise proof, Bose stole these from my mom, told her I'd give it back in a week. It's been months. I got a Logitech, you know, HD camera. <laughs> if you need a solid, solid webcam, this is it, especially for programmers, if you're trying to do like face tracking, all that stuff, this is it. Next up, the desk. Why did, I'm over here. That's what I mean, man. This is, this is what I mean, the useless. I think I need something, I buy it, then I never use it. This could have done this the whole time. I didn't need to. You guys wanna check out some cable management while we were here? I know the desk setup gods are just asking why did he record this and put it in my eyes? But as you could tell, something about standing desks and trying to figure out the complicated nature of standing desks and wire management is just not for me. So I decided to be that guy who just said, take a deep breath and forget about it. I have, you can't tell right now, but studio monitors on each side, one is just being blocked visually. Obviously, I'll, I guess I'll do some B-roll. Studio monitors for when you just don't want to have headphones on and makes the environment feel different. Sometimes it makes it feel bigger. Um, I know some people like to go to coffee shops to work. Coffee shops usually have some, you know, music in the background or whatever. So I think studio monitors are great. This right here is generally what my desk looks like. Um, I might have a notebook here and there. Did I put lotion on? I might have a notebook here and there, but at the end of the day, this is what my desk looks like in terms of main things that I use. And honestly, this keyboard is my favorite keyboard simply because my little brother bought it and it's the first thing he's ever like fully bought me as a present. It was my birthday present. God, am I that ashy? That has to be dead skin. I'd be coding, so. So this is a Logitech MX Master 3, which is, again, the most solid fundamental mouse there can be. Honestly, in terms of the mouse, like if you're a programmer, if you are a video editor, whatever it is, it's fully customizable. I think it's dope. I had bought one before this. They're always $100, by the way. I bought one before this and it was solid. And then I got a little YouTube clout and then they sent me both of these, I had asked for the white one and then they sent me the black one and I just ended up using the black one anyways. And this whole setup is obviously, as always, powered by a MacBook. 
And I say obviously as always like it's a good thing because yeah, it's okay. But I get what I need out of it. And I like the Mac environment way more than I'm, I like the PC environment. I don't really care about power unless the rare times I need it. It does what I need it to do. Obviously, you know, younger me grew up, you know, building PCs, not literally build like one. <laughs> but let me say I built PCs. Um, I remember building my first PC and it was a really great experience and finally having a powerful computer. You know, I went from editing on Windows Movie Maker. If you guys remember Windows Movie Maker, this is me reminiscing for no reason. It has nothing to do with this desk setup. Windows Movie Maker and it was just slow. Then we built a PC, I could do Premiere Pro and it was running crispy, it wasn't crashing. When you finally get a computer that doesn't crash, this right here is a microphone. I would love to make more on-screen coding videos, but I haven't figured out a way to make that happen without the f screen freezing a bunch of times. So it's kind of put on hold. I'm gonna be using this PC here. Maybe I'll be using the PC to make some coding videos instead of my weak little MacBook that freezes every two seconds, but everyone else who records on a Mac, it's fine. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but with all that being said, how much do you guys think the cost of all this is? Really, I don't think I'm missing anything. Like this is my day-to-day -day use case. How is this scratch? How is a monitor? Also, obviously this is held up by an overpriced monitor arm in the back. I was literally gonna finish this desk setup without talking about the desk. I got this from Ikea right when standing desks were getting popular so this was overpriced this was seven hundred dollars it is a pretty big desk i can fit a lot of things on here as you guys could tell i have my speakers i have my two monitors i have my laptop chilling in the back oh and i have this uh interface here the interface is made for my you know speakers but this desk was from Ikea, by the way, so it is completely weak. If you lean on it too much, it's gonna start squeaking. This is fake wood, by the way. This isn't real wood. I actually don't know. Point it is weak wood. It's very weak wood. Also, as a side note, I know, you know, your environment matters most, so I really try to pay for an overpriced apartment just to live next to, let me show you guys. That's right, baby. An overpriced, boarded up, crack house. That's my outside office view. Let's just overexpose that and move that out of my sight. Thank you. Honestly, I might joke about this, but this desk setup has got me through a lot in terms of my emotional trauma. But in terms of my back pain, I got this standing desk because I always deal with back pain. The most crucial thing you can get for yourself for a desk setup is a rolling ball. Roll your back out every day, mix with stretching, and you're gonna feel so much better. This is what gets me to be focused. If I have back pain and this can make it go away in seconds or I could just sit on it, um, my thing is I could focus for however long I feel like focusing if my back doesn't hurt. If my back hurts, I can't do anything. I can't think, I can't whatever. And sometimes it, there's, there's worse days, you know, especially with this left-leaning desk setup. If you guys need any help with your back pain and no chair is working for you, stretch and obviously have a ball for you to roll your back on. Um, it's really useful, it takes a couple seconds to just relieve some pain and you could get back to coding or not, I don't know. I honestly thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's been a while since I've made some videos. I'm trying to be more consistent. This is my thing, but I actually, I had fun making this. I had fun talking to a camera for no good reason and being a narcissist. You know, it's, it's, it's interesting. But go ahead, support the channel by, oh, is that lint? Oh, God damn it. Here we go, here we go. Go ahead, support the channel by buying um, anti-social coder club shirts. Please don't be ashy on the hand, good. Cause you know, I'm a coder and I'm anti-social. Ha, <laughs> ha, yeah. Ugh. Anyways. <laughs> If you guys just want a little shirt that's kind of, you know, it's, eh, you're a programmer, you don't have to be antisocial, but if you feel that way, this is a shirt for you. This whole setup costs 53, can't read, $5,302. For this dusty, okay, mediocre mess. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. <sighs> I gotta talk to an accountant or something.